Alright, so this is your daily hour with me. We're on the program here, it's the radio program. What happens is we uh, turn on the machine and we start talking and uh, we talk for one hour and then the program is ending after that. Once a day, just turn it on. Sometimes we make phone calls, sometimes we have guests in the studio. Uh, today, well, it's, uh, it's Saturday, it's day 26 of the program. Uh, so it's two hours into day two. Uh, we're uh, four days away from the month show. In four days, we're going to have the show. That means uh, it's going to be one month of the hour. It's uh, kind of a weird thing because we're doing hours and days. So it's 24 hours is a thing. But then 30 days is also a thing, even though the days are only hours. But there are 30 days is a month. So I guess it'll be on, on the 19th. And I don't know what, what day is it today, but it'll, we'll figure that out sometime. We'll make some phone calls. I think we're going to call some uh, maybe some Arby's. Uh, we can call, I'm trying to call a factory of some kind. We can call and talk to a factory. Maybe we, we can call uh, random people. So that's what happens in the program. It's Maybe we'll get some callers. I guess I should get on the system here and open up the phone so you guys can start calling in. It's 3.30. So let's see, uh, get, the, get the callers on here and then that'll be good. So, oh, maybe it's already open. Is it running? It appears to be running already, so... I don't think we've tried to receive any phone calls yet. Nobody's called into the program yet. It's uh, 3.30, and you can call in, and you can uh, tell us your preferences. So let's call this uh, Arby's Supply Place. They told me yesterday uh, where they get their stuff, and it's from the supply store. So we're calling them, and we're going to get their supplies, and we're going to ask them about supplies and things like that. Here we go. We'll call it Arby's, Arby's Supply Store in, uh, I don't know where they are, but, oh, is it working? The system might not be working. Where's the system sound? It might not be working. Don't hear it. Don't hear it. So we're trying to, I'm trying to get it, I was trying to get it to work, but don't hear it at all. It appears to not be working. I'm going to keep trying to fix the thing so that it works better, but right for now it's not working at all. Um, let's see, can we hear anything? Trying to get the, the phone system to work. I have to redo stuff and then when that happens it goes on the air onto the, onto the thing. So I guess I'm just going to try to get the, yeah, get the computer sound to get into the system here. I don't know what's wrong with it. We're going to try to figure that out. Uh, seems I should be cl uh, plugged in correctly, but I, I can't tell, I guess. So we're going to try to figure it out here. And we're, so we're trying to figure out what's wrong with the Oh, there's something. Maybe the volume is just out on the computer. Is that the problem? Oh, I don't know. We can hear that a little bit. We play this. So that's working. So we're gonna try it out to get the um the other thing back up working here. Uh, we're gonna open up open up the Skype again. Try to make that phone call. See if it'll make a noise. Yeah, there's a noise. That's good. So um, we're gonna call that Arby's Supply Place and ask them about the meat and what's in there, what goes in the spices maybe, or how do they make it. Okay, I want to I wanna get, I wanna get them to say stuff like it's a, a show on um, the food, like unwrapped where they, they show all the stuff, but we can't show it, so they just need to talk us through it at the factories on the phone if they could, and that's what we're going to ask them. We're going to try to get them to do that, and we don't know if that's going to happen or not. So we're trying to call them. It's connecting. It doesn't appear to be working though. Connecting. Maybe this thing is going crazy. I gotta, I gotta start the computer over. Maybe because uh, we're just, just flopping. The computer's just flopping around, not functioning and not doing what we're trying to do. So we're gonna have to restart the computer so uh, we can get to work. And I guess until then we're just gonna be seat jeans flying here on the program. So I like to say when nothing happens. Uh, so fine. Let's see the jeans here. And it's uh, yeah, all this stuff is going going wild on the computer system, so, oh, we gotta save that number, uh oh, save, save, there it goes, okay, so I'm, I'm saving the number, so that way we don't lose it, oh, did it save, I don't know, I might have lost the number, I might have lost the, um, the number to Arby's, the one that I was trying to get, so, I don't know, we don't know, uh oh, 
we don't know what's going on with it, and it could be anything really. I mean, so yeah. So we're at Jersey, Jersey Ocean in the distance. Serene scene, beautiful. You can see it, and we're trying to call. We're trying to make phone calls, but the computer system's not working all the way, and it's just not functioning correctly. So this is yeah. Uh, we're doing step two of the program. The program is a four-step process, and this is the second step here. It happens once a day. Uh, it's going to go on for a while. This is day 25, so not even a month yet, but once a day we just sit on the machine here. We just keep get, getting on the ro on the radio there. Uh, we sometimes we try to make phone calls to get like, guests in the studio. Sometimes we try to get like topics. We don't. I don't know what kind of topics I should have on the program, though. We don't have any topics. Um, sometimes I think I should plan something to say. Maybe I should like plan some topics. Maybe like write down some things and be like, hey, this is what you're going to say on the radio. But I never do that. And then I don't think about doing that when I'm on, on the radio. And then when I get off the radio, I don't think about it. Um, but I should. And then maybe I could have topics. But I don't have topics. We don't get topics on the program. We just go uh, with whatever topics that are happening at the time. So the computer is restarting up, and we're going to try to call that Arby's place if it happens. Um, we're about we're about uh, six minutes into the program here, and uh, moving forward, moving strong, and it's one one time, one taking it one minute at a time, I guess, or one uh, one day at a time, one hour at a time, and one minute at a time, one one second at a time. So that's uh, things that we do on the program here. Ooh, ooh. So we're going to call. Um, we're gonna call that Arby's place if we get the get the thing back running up here. So I'm turning back on the system. Uh, I had to restart the system because it was you not know, functioning correctly for a little bit there. So now we're back into it, and I think it'll work better this time. So here we go, and we're gonna call. We're logging into the thing here. It's gonna call, and we're gonna be able to call, make phone calls, call people, receive them, things like that. So here we go. Receiving, receiving. Oh, you know, I might have lost the number. I don't know if I if I did get to keep the number from the Arby's uh, supply store, so I can never call a factory. I wanted to call a factory, but then it didn't happen. So I guess I'm not calling a factory. Unless, yeah, no, it's gone. That number is gone. So we're gonna have to try to call uh, somebody else, and uh, maybe we can maybe we can get through to them. Guess we'll call we'll call an Arby's. Starting it off, call some Arby's. Uh, and we're gonna, what? So we're gonna get some studio? You gonna be on the studio? Alright, so we're gonna try to get on, uh, uh, we're gonna call an Arby's, and, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna ask them about their meat situation, because I think it's liquid meat, maybe, and if it is liquid meat, we're attempting to find some of it and, um, create meat pancakes. That's what, I, that's what we're saying. We're trying to find meat pancakes. Uh, I think it might be meat somewhere. I think there might be somewhere where I can get like meat uh, pancakes, meat pancake batter, and make uh, roast beef pancakes, Arby's waffles in the waffle machine. So that's what I'm going to try to do if I find it, and then that's the goal. Uh, was, so we're calling Arby's in uh, with maybe... Uh, hmm, South Dakota, South Dakota, or, or Rhode Island, that's what we were calling yesterday. South Dakota, you think they're nice over there in South Dakota? I don't know. So, here, we're going to call Arby's and, uh, see, I don't, I don't know if I've even called the people already. Now I'm not sure who I've called and who I haven't called. So, I should start writing it down. We need to get an intern. If anybody wants to be an intern, they can, they can go back and listen to the old episodes and try to discern, ooh, ooh, um, what the, uh, what the thing is here, what, 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 what the, which Arby's I've already called, but maybe you can't even tell sometimes, sometimes I don't even know, so it might be, that might be an impossible task, really, so we're, here we go, we're calling the, uh, the McDonald's, I mean the Arby's, you know, in, uh, in this place here, hey Arby's, Hey, I heard my friends. They told me that you guys use liquid meat and then you like form it into a pancake. Is that true? Hello. Hello. Hey, I heard that you guys use liquid meat in your in your beef. Is that true? It's like liquid in the pancakes. You guys fry it up like that. 
What? I heard my friends, they told me that your uh, roast beef is a, like a liquid gel and that you guys have like a, get, get it in like a bucket and then you guys just like fry it up like a pancake and then you got a thing or like a, is that true? Uh, I can barely understand you, sir. Can you repeat that one more time, please? My friends told me that you, all your meat is a liquid, that it comes in like a gel form or something, and then it, it's in the, like a bucket, and that you guys just like, you know, put it on, a, on fry it up like a crepe or something, you know? Is that a true thing? You guys do that there? No. The meat is a solid, it comes in a solid form. When you get it, you guys slice it in the house there? Yeah, we slice it right here. Is it, it's, when you, you slice it, it's a solid piece? You don't think that the, maybe the corporation reconstitutes that stuff? Before they send it to you? I don't know. Does it seem I like don't, it? I don't, I wouldn't know. All I know is slice it fresh. It's fresh? You slice it fresh? But do you think, like, when you look at it, when, before you slice it, does it look like a solid piece of meat or does it look like some kind of, like, bologna kind of thing? Um, I don't know. Who is this, anyway? I'm just a customer. I want to know about this stuff. Maybe it's a cu customer. Um, so... Oh, uh, hey, you can call in the morning and ask my boss. She'll gladly tell you. In the morning? They come there every day? Yeah. Like, what time in the morning? What time? Yes. Call about 9, 10 o'clock. Okay. Nine, okay, thank later. you. Okay, we can call the boss. Maybe, maybe we'll do that sometime if I wake up, if we do the program that early. We could do the program at 9 a.m. That seems like not too insane. Like, hey, this is the program at 9 a.m. So, I guess I'll save that number. We can call that one back later. That guy was a, he helped, he helped, he was a nice guy. South, South Dakota, what does South Dakota sound like? It sounded pretty regular. They didn't have any uh, insane, like, speech things or anything like that. And I didn't hear anything crazy happening in there, so. Seemed like it was okay, so I guess we'll call. So when, yeah, when, they're, when, when, when the calls go successful, I don't feel like I want to make more of them. But I, uh, I kind of do just to do a thing. But that one went so well, I, mean, I got to move on now. But to what? Maybe topics. If I had some topics, we could move on to the topics. But there aren't topics. We uh, haven't been doing any technical upgrades in a while. Uh, I think I want to do something like that. You know what I could do is just clean stuff up. That would be a technical upgrade. But uh, we could do that and call more people. Call somebody else instead of the instead of Arby's. Maybe we'll call a different place. Uh, I gotta start thinking of other people who pull the call. It's kind of been your daily hour with fast food. Oh, somebody calling me? I don't know what's going on with the thing. Kind of confusing. Yeah, right now it's like your daily hour with fast food. So if we want to do that, I mean, that can happen. But we should try to call other people too and see what the see what the other slices of Americana are like too. I don't know what else to call them. Maybe we could think of somebody else. We could call like stores. Yeah, stores just like places where people work. We ask antique shops, so we can call looking at looking for some kind of video. We can call video stores, looking for videos. We can look for like videos, and um, or maybe we can call uh, smaller places, hometown places. I want to call more receptionists. Maybe we should just call. Let's just try to call offices. We all I'll call an office of some kind. I don't know what kind of office there there are. Well, I guess it's a Saturday though. But it's a Saturday, so nobody will be there. Uh, on Saturdays, people they don't they don't do office things. They only do uh, service job things. That's what I've been calling. So we can call the service job people, and we could maybe get a, um, something from them. We could talk to them. Maybe they may to tell us about about their lives and about what they do. We can call them. Or I guess we just call random people too. I mean, there's so many people that are just having on there. But I think nobody nobody has cell phones on the on, on the internet there. So when you look look for numbers, all you're doing is looking for like old people. I think they're all old people because they're the people left with um without cell phones. So when you call them and then uh, they're old people, yeah, because they, they're on the books. So you want to you you be on the studio? Yeah, you got to. What is this? Is this one working? Yeah, yeah. What, what, what? Call Mangy? Wait, you, you gotta, can't talk to me. Don't talk to me unless you're talking to the mic. What'd you say? Can you call Chris Mangy? All right. Let's call him. What's his phone number? Let's get it out. Okay, well, you can just type it in here and then we'll, um, right here. And then we call. And where's the keyboard? The keyboard is somewhere. Oh, it's in my lap. The keyboard is in my lap. I got a little bit distracted here, so I'm gonna go to the thing. 
Okay. No, no, that doesn't work. You gotta use the number pad. The regular one. Or not that one. This one. You have to use this one. It's, it's, oh, and the, yeah. Look out because the four and the fives are switched out. It's confusing. So there's lots of downfalls. Yeah, the computer keyboard is kind of confusing sometimes. So we're calling Main G, uh, City Mouth. Enter. We're calling City Mouth and uh, we're going to ask him about his um, mouth and about his preferences. Maybe. Or maybe you have a plan. Do you have some kind of plan? I was just going to ask him where he is because my phone's good. Oh, all right. <laughs> so we, we, well, this is a real call. This is for, uh, <laughs> it's for frac what, practical uh -huh. purposes. Hey, Meiji, this is your daily hour with me. Where are you right now? What are you saying? This is your daily hour with Kenrick Ward. Uh, hey. Hey. <laughs> well, where are, where are you? Where, yeah. where are you? Huh? I'm on my way back to Olympia from Florida. Oh, yeah? Is it serene? Uh, what? Is it serene? Is it what? Is it serene? <laughs> is it serene? Yeah, yeah. serene. I do. I'm looking at a horse right now, actually. Uh, Alright. Is that what you wanted to yeah. say? Yeah. So this was a practical call because of Felicity, but uh, we can talk to you on the radio now. She needs to call you. Um, as, as your, uh, as, as your, how's your new uh, album? When is your new album going to drop? When is your next album going to drop? I don't know. When it's finished. Alright. So... Yeah. Probably soon. In the next couple months. Good. <laughs> That's going to... Are they dropping gems? Uh, is that a record label? Do they have records? What is the noise? What? Do they have records? Do, do record label. Do you have records? Well, bye, Felicity. She's leaving the studio. Um, so yeah. All right, Rangy. Uh, as uh, have you been? Uh, did you eat the burger bell down there? Am I uh, what? Burger bells. What about burger bell? Did you eat that? Have I ever eaten there? Yeah, I've eaten there. It's fucking good. Did you find a? Uh, did you find a um, residence? No. All right. Okay. Bye, bye, Manji. What? Okay. Bye, bye. Okay. Bye. That was Manji. Uh, we called him on the program. It was uh, for practical purposes. Uh, uh, I'm gonna call another restaurant of some kind. I'm gonna call some other places. It's gonna call. Um, I want to. I actually want to know what's in the fries. What's in the fries at McDonald's? And so we'll call McDonald's again. Uh, we're gonna ask him about the fries because I don't kind of. I, I actually did eat. I do go there. I support that place for real. I'm trying to win that Monopoly game. So if you guys want to send me those Monopoly pizzas, I think I'm gonna win big on it. Uh, so I'm. I'm sending them the things. Uh, and so we're gonna call them. We're gonna say, what's in those fries? Can you tell me what's in the fries? I don't know what the fries are made of. Is it mostly made of potatoes? Like, the potato fries, but are they reconstituted? Those are some things I'm going to ask. Hello? Oh, no. That was a weird noise. I heard. I thought I heard somebody talking, but maybe those were the birds. I don't know. So we're going to try to call them again. Or we're, I mean, we're still calling McDonald's in. Friend, McDonald's, John, how can I help you? Hey, can you tell me what they put in the fries? I'm sorry, what? Do you guys know what's in the fries? Do you have an ingredients list? I'm sorry, sir, you're breaking up. I want to know what's in the fries. Hello? Hello? All right, I'm going to call the next one. I want to get, get an answer. So we're going to call... Uh, Watertown, South Dakota. Next. Say so what's in the fries. Just wanna I'm just we're just trying to hear their voice though, you remember that's the, the thing. They just say hello and then that's that's like the main part of it is just to getting getting as many like voices saying hello and whatever on the thing. 
We can just call people. Uh, that McDonald's is not open. We're gonna call the next one now. Your daily hour with McDonald's. Um, ooh, there's some parties in the studio here. So here we're gonna call the next one. Calling somebody in uh, in uh, South Dakota. McDonald's. We're gonna ask him about what's on the what's on the uh, what's in the fries. We're about um, 20 minutes into the program here. Hey, can you guys tell me, can you tell me what's in the fries? What? Can you tell me what's in the fries? Do you guys have an ingredients list? You can call the money out number. Will they read it to me? Do you guys have it there though? No, we don't. You know, so, so the, but if I call that 800 call number? Potatoes. You know, yeah, there's potatoes, but what else in there? I don't know, it must like some corn in there or something. You don't know? You don't, they never tell you there in the training or something? Well, they're french fries, so I'm assuming they're potatoes. If you have any questions, you can call the 1-800 number. But if I call that number, they're going to give me the list? They have, like, a list of stuff within it? I just told you you can call the 1-800 number. Okay. 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 Yeah, that was, that was weird. She says, oh, she sounded mean. So, I don't even know what the 800 number is. She just called the 1-800 number. What does that mean? What's a 1-800 number? Um, let's call the next one. This one's in Aberdeen, South Dakota. That's like Aberdeen, Washington. Here we go. We're going to call them uh, and uh, ask them about things. So, uh, Aberdeen, South Dakota. Here we go. Calling them. I don't know what happens to these numbers. This is a state number. Here we go. Aberdeen, South Dakota. So we're calling them. We're going to call you and uh, we're going to see what it is. Maybe I should try to tell these people about the program, like more people that I call. Like I stopped doing that completely. Hey, call McDonald's and Dan, how can I help you? Hey, can you tell me how many McDonald's are located in Aberdeen, South Dakota? Um, two. Do you think that you're the more popular McDonald's out of the two? What's up? You think that your McDonald's is more popular than the other one in Aberdeen? Uh, we really don't have a popularity. It's more of uh, depending on where you're driving. Do you know what's in the fries? Do you know what's in the fries? What's in the fries? Yeah. Like, like the ingredients? Because I think, it, I mean, there's potatoes in there, but well, there's other stuff in there too, though, right? Hello? Hello? Oh, oh I think we're there. I think they're gone. Alright, so there we go. That's uh that was Aberdeen McDonald's. They they didn't know if they were pop the popular one or not. It's called the next one. I kinda wanna find out I don't I don't think anybody knows what's in the fries though. Uh and uh so we're gonna call the next one here. It's in uh, Huron, South Dakota. And we're gonna ask them. I don't know. What I, I don't know yet. We have several things. I have several things I could ask. I mean, what what's in the fries? Kind of throw people off. They get confused by that one. Maybe it's hard to tell which one is the right one and which one is like they have the questions. I guess it depends. I just gotta feel it out. I'm trying to figure out by them saying hi, what questions I should ask them. I don't know. And trying to get them on the keep them on the line to talk to them, get to know them, but they don't want to hang up. Hello, South Dakota McDonald's. Can you tell me how many McDonald's are located in Huron, South Dakota? Hello? Hey, can you tell me how many McDonald's are located in Huron, South Dakota? Hello? Hello? Can you tell me how many McDonald's are located in Huron, South Dakota? Hello? Hello? Oh, oh, okay. So they didn't know, I guess, they, or they didn't want to answer. Maybe, is the ocean, maybe the ocean is playing into them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, maybe the ocean is playing into them, or maybe they can't hear me too well. I don't know, there's many things that could be happening, and we don't ever really know. We don't get to know. We don't ever know. Uh, we just have to go with it, I guess, and see what happens, and we don't know if they're hearing bad things. Like, well, I don't know what they're hearing. Like, 
they're getting uh, this phone call and it's like choppy and they're just like, it's like, I, I, and then I'm asking them things. I don't know what it's like on the other end. Let's just try to find out. But some people say it's clear, but it might not be clear. Maybe when people are far away, it's not so clear. The only clear, like when people are close to me, the only people I know are people around here, so I can't call anybody to try to test it. It's far away. Or maybe, but you should maybe if you're listening out there, call into the program, and uh, you can uh, tell us when the uh, where you are and how the signal is, and you could be the 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 distant intern. Uh, and you would, if you were the distant intern, you would still win the intern contest. You see the ultimate party package. We're still looking for Mildred Degenerate. If we find her, we'll give her the ultimate party package because she won the fan contest in, in that first week or maybe the second week. So um, we don't have any contests, I guess, now, um, except for maybe we have the contest of uh, the pledge drive, which is a constant contest. There, it's ongoing. You can just go to that website there. You go to kimmerford.co.cc. Got a little donate button on there. Uh, if you donate a certain amount, you get uh, one thing. If you donate more, you'll get the ultimate party package. And um, it's, it's there. And uh, I'm just trying to wait to give to somebody. You want the ultimate party package. You just you just nab that right up and uh, just put in your donation. And I bet, I bet any donation will, will win the, the challenge, possibly. So you can try to do that. And uh, we can call more people. We're about, uh, we're about half an hour into the program here. We're about half an hour left. And we're just scooting right along uh, once a day for an hour every day. And we're scooting right along today. It's Saturday. This is a what, week three, day 20, it's day 25. And there's seven days in a week. I think 24, 21 is three weeks, two and a half, Sunday. So next week will be four weeks. Next week will be four weeks of the program. Uh, and that's our next Sunday. Yeah, this Sunday, which is tomorrow, will be four weeks of the program, but it's only 26 days. That doesn't really make sense to me, but I think maybe I'm, I'm not doing that correctly. But I think that's how it goes. Uh, I think I think I think it'll still work out though. It seems like that's how many days there are in a week. Because weeks don't do any kind of like fluctuation kind of thing like months do or like even years do sometimes. Weeks are the same. So maybe maybe I'm just counting wrong. I don't know. If we get a if we had a intern we could uh, ask them about that kind of thing. So here's Paul, another McDonald's in uh, South Dakota here. And we're gonna call them and we're gonna ask them questions. Oh, about uh about their, their McDonald's and their lives and stuff. You see what they say? You know what they're gonna say. Oh right. Hey, hey, hey. How are you doing on the radio? All right. I think I think that's what they'll say. They say. Hey, hey. What's up on the radio? All right. All right. So here we go. Calling them and we're gonna they're gonna answer. It'll be it'll be grand. It'll be grand. Grand happy. Grand Slappy is there on the program, so we'll call it, uh, McDonald's in Winter, South Dakota. Hey, McDonald's is here, let me help you. Hey, can you tell me how many McDonald's are located in the Winter, South Dakota? Sorry, what? Can you tell me how many McDonald's are located in Winter, South Dakota? Winter? Yes, how many, how many are located in the city? I can't really understand you, I'm sorry. How many McDonald's are located in Winter, South Dakota? Just one. Oh, just the one? Do yeah. you think that your your McDonald's is more popular than the fast food restaurants? Any of the other ones that are around here? Do I think what? Is, you, is your McDonald's more popular than the other fast food restaurants that are around the McDonald's there? I think so. I don't know. Do you know what they put in the fries other than potatoes? Is it corn? I think there's corn. you think there's corn in them? I don't know. You have to call the manufacturing company where they make them. You know what that number is? I'm not sure about how it's made. You know how I can call those people? Yeah, I'll give you a number. All right. You ready? Uh, yes. Okay, 1-800-244-6227. Uh -huh. Yeah. Six two two seven. All right. Okay, I'll call them. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. All right. Bye. So, um, that was good. They were nice. They were nice people. Uh, so we're gonna call this number. I, I don't know. Maybe this is eight hundred number. That was the way they were saying. I bet this is gonna be a robot. We'll call anyway. Try to get a hold of somebody in the factory. 
They can sit next to phones. You know, people in offices they sit next to phones. They don't, the phones don't ring, but they're sitting next to the phones all the time. McDonald's customer service center. McDonald's customers. Yeah, that's which one. McDonald's restaurant. I think I called this number already, actually. But we're going to keep trying to get through. Please the law. As the following options. For information or questions about the Monopoly game at McDonald's, no. press the star key. For nutritional or ingredient information on McDonald's menu items, press 1. If you're yes. to share feedback for nutrition facts like calories, protein, and carbohydrates, press 1. For ingredient information, press 2. We're trying to find ingredient, ingredient information. information. To get nutrition information or to customize a menu item, visit our website at www.mcdonald.com. No. Uh, since ingredients are subject to change, information on McDonald's test products may not be available. To speak with a representative, press 1. To return to the main menu, press 2. Because your call is so important to us, it will be recorded for quality assurance. All right. You are invited it to participate be. in a brief automated survey immediately following this call to rate our call center performance. All right. To participate in this survey, please stand the line after speaking to the customer service representative. Sounds good. The next available service representative will be with you momentarily. Sounds good. So now we get to listen to the McDonald's commercials, maybe. Maybe just music. If I want to just put the music on the hold. So we're on hold with McDonald's, and we're going to ask them what's in the thing, and then we're going to take a survey with them, I guess. Maybe we try to get sponsored. They're like, man, this thing's going to be recorded. You're like, it, you're right, it is. This is some lovely hold music we found here. We should just try to call people and have them put on some music. Hey, could you just put us on hold? You want to hear that hold music? So we're on hold right now, and we're calling them. They're going to answer the phone at some point. Uh, but we have all day, you know? We still have like a 25 minutes. If they answer, and maybe if they don't answer in 25 minutes, then that will be a problem. But if they do answer, at least then, we don't have to really worry about it. So we're calling them, and it's a, it's a party time, and we're going to answer their, answer the questions. They're going to talk to us about it and see what, see what happens. But this whole music is just it's pleasant. Isn't this whole music just pleasant? Oh, it's changing up on too. What a what a good what a good, great thing to happen. Now we're just waiting for McDonald's to answer the phone and we're gonna ask them what's in the fries and then they'll be able to tell us because these are the ingredient people that they have told me to call. And then after that we're gonna get them and uh yeah, I don't know if they're, they said they're recording it. So maybe McDonald's are also recording what we're saying right now. And we're endorsing the product there. So, uh, Hi, McDonald's. My name is Jeff. How can I help you today? Hey, I want to know what's in the fries other than potatoes. You know, is there any corn in there? So you want to know the ingredients of the fries? Yes. What's in the fries? The corn? in the kitchen? The McDonald's kitchen? No, we're, um, we're at the uh, corporate office for the customer care center. Is this like a call place? You know how I can call the kitchen? I want to ask them what they're going to do next. You know about that? I'm sorry? I want to get, I want to get this chili, you know about the chili Thai sauce? Do you have that there? No. You know, I have information about the chili Thai sauce? Look it up. It's chili sauce. It's chili Thai. I think it's called chili Thai. Chili sauce. Yes, we chili. Alright, that was just the short thing we did for the Olympics. So, but some of them, some of them have it still, right? Like some of the McDonald's still give it out because they got too much of it. Is there, is there any way you guys would, could bring that back, or you could just uh, just make some and give it to me so I can have some of the the sauce? Cause I really like that sauce. Request them to the organization. Let them know about your feedback. But is there any way that I can just order some of it from you guys? So if you don't want to make it back, uh, into the big market, and just get like a bottle of it or something. 
Um, my computer, you know, send their information out to the franchise, or not the franchise owner, but the organization. Uh, do you know who I can call that can just get, like, put me in touch with the people who make it? I can just ask them. I have my information, I'm not here. All right. Thank you for that permission and put a request in. So I'll take my contact information and try to get them to call me back. Mm -hmm. But I can't call them. Because I, I don't... Their number is I don't, I don't go on the phone much, and I'm on the, the internet phone, I don't have a regular phone number. I just got to get on the thing to log in to try to call people. So I don't have a phone, I just only make an outgoing call. But I don't know, I'm going to call if I can, if We think they'll be there later at your place. I'm sorry? If I call this number later, will your bosses be there? Um, it, this is a different department than from the menu department. The menu? No, I mean, I can pass. Could you pass me over to them? I don't have their number, sir, sir. Oh, what about, can you pass me to the receptionist at your office? Um, we're not, we don't have any, we're not able to transfer it. What I can do is, you know, take your contact information, like I said, and pass it on. Well, all right. Um, my number is, uh, all right, wait a minute, yes, I got it. Well, I can't be called, though. That's one of my phone numbers, but they don't work, so I don't have any contact information. I guess you could try to email. Email me at camerickward.gmail. Can you guys email me back about the thing? Maybe I can talk to somebody else later in the future. Yeah, what's your email? Kenrickward at gmail. K-E-N-R-I-C-K. W-A-R-D at gmail. Yeah, and I, I, I'll link it back to it. Well, I, I want to. I really would like to get a bottle of that sauce because then I could have it at home too. Uh, I just I, I like that sauce, but it stopped selling. And I, I called some other McDonald's and like uh, around the country and the other places have it. They have it, but they won't send it to me either. They have cases left over, so giving it out. The other ones around here, they gave, they ran out, and they won't send it to me either. I don't, I don't know why nobody will send it to me. You guys have made it before. You can just continue to still send it to all right. Can I get your first and last name, please? Uh, let's tell the email that Kevin McWard. Alright. So how long do you think these requests usually take? I'm not sure. I mean, it, we sent me a um, record on the other track, I believe, so... Uh, it just takes a couple business days to process. So you do know about your feedback and when people talk to you? When people want to call you, they usually just ask for the ingredients, like I'm doing, they ask me for the feedback and stuff. Yeah, pretty much, right. Pretty much, that's the I don't remember, okay, they can, they can, they can, you can read the list. You got the list there? Yeah, you just have to go on the website, you read all the lists off that thing, right? You can have a printed it towards the other after you read some information and put it in the store somewhere. Um, it depends on the individual store. I've been reading all on the uh, website and stuff, the McDonald's back home. All right. All right, okay, thank you. So they said I want to take a survey or something. Is that going to happen now? Are you going you to do the survey? Do you issue the survey or somebody else does that? Uh, the people on the robot voice before you said that uh, I was going to take a survey after the phone call. And so I don't know if that's happening now or I mean like after this. Yeah, that's right. That's going to call and take you to Are you going to hang up? I don't have to hang up because I'm, I'm making a survey, right? So I, I'll stay on the line, right? Yeah, you're going to hang up? Yeah, I hope you have a great day. All right. <laughs> Thank you for participating in our customer satisfaction survey. We value your thoughts about how we handled your call today. We right. appreciate your take just a minute or two to answer these six brief questions. Yes. Please write the following questions using a five-point scale. Well, five being completely satisfied. I don't want to do that. I thought I could just say so. Well, whatever. We'll see how it goes. You may use any number between five and one. Again, five is completely satisfied. It's one is completely satisfied. To repeat the scale, then it's the star key. Let's get started. Robot voice says, we're doing a survey. Overall, how are you always experienced when calling McDonald's? I was only partially satisfied, too. Thank you, guys. I actually remember how satisfied you were, how easy it was to reach a representative. Oh, I was, I was pretty good. I was totally satisfied with that. That's a little five. Five on five. Thank you, guys. 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 How satisfied are you with how the representative handled your call? So satisfied. How satisfied are you with how appreciated the representative made you feel? Well, we look at it. He thank you. We have a raise. Good. 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 Good.
Welcome to Dave's Experience. Hello, Mr. Campbell. Here. How often are you likely to visit McDonald's in the future? Ooh. What? Much more often. Look, that's fine. That's more often. That's more often. That's correct. We appreciate your feedback, and we are always striving to stay you better. Yeah. Thanks again for calling McDonald's. Thank you. What? They hung up now. Who's that? Was it? That's perfect. Was it? Hello. Yeah, I got it worked out. I called the guy. They had a number. They have their thing together. We just love the ingredients. So, talked to me for a while on the program. So, I guess you said you can get tortured. But I'm being tortured. It is. So, you're right over right about that. So, we're ready. Um, we're ready to, to, to keep calling, I guess, or something. So, now, uh, make some more phone calls and uh, maybe talk some more on the machine here. So, what happens on the program? We just kind of hit the machine there. They're talking, talk for a whole hour, and then we uh, put on the, the blind man, and then it happens with your daily hour with me. It's, uh, it's our red hour, daily hour with us. Uh, all of us, and they're all us. I'm just, uh, I'm just, uh, we're forgetting here. So we're calling, we've been calling McDonald's, and we calling Arby's, and we've been calling lots of people, uh, and we, we try to find out uh, where it is Americana, and we try to find slices of it. Uh, what's the day? Oh, uh, we're, I'm yawning on the program today. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I think it'll be okay, though. You guys are, you guys are cool. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay, good. So, I don't remember the, I called the robot to say yes. I should get a robot. It's going to go, hey, Scott, you're going to be on the panel. I'm going to the program. Oh, uh, hey, hey, it's all right. Oh, uh, baseball. You guys are going to play baseball? You know, we got a, uh, we got a big, we got a studio. We got the team. program. You guys are going to be here. Here, stay on the program. Like it, yeah, I can on the, I don't know, like, I want to do baseball. Oh, you're going to watch baseball on TV? I want to watch baseball. I don't want to be on the radio. When does right baseball start? Now. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. everyone's nervous. Now. Yeah. 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 Where's Andy? I don't know. He's coming. Wait, I think he's in the room. He's in the room. Wait, baseball starting now. What is that? Giants. I thought it was 3.30 at all. 4.30? 4.30. Yeah, 4.30. 4.30. I want to watch baseball. It's at the 4.15. Yeah. Why does it start 4.15? Because that's when it starts now. What thing does it start at 15? Why is it? Wait, it's not 15 minutes in Eastern time? Yes. I'm about to talk about this baseball happening. It's the playoffs. Playoffs. So what does that mean? What does playoffs mean? It means that everything is at stake, including my lives. So God's life to give back lives. My lives. Uh oh. Uh oh. So I can fix this. So I guess I'll fix it. I'm trying to fix the TV so that we can watch baseball. Well, I think we're going to at the same time. I'm like, um, this is how you get shocked. Is when you're, when you're holding a mic and doing other things at the same time. But that's what's going to happen. So that could be, you might really get shocked. Uh, I'm like, oh, no. Yep, I got to leave that. And so, wait, I just want to control this TV. But if, uh, just go ahead. What was happening in the show before this exciting development? Uh, I was calling the Donald's and Arby's. Where? Uh, South Dakota. And we're asking them about, uh, things there. Uh, so, uh, it's so what I was going on with today. Um, I don't know what it is. We're going to play this thing. We're trying to get baseball. If it's a baseball or not, so I don't know what we can do. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to take it off my shoes. Where are we going to go? Here's now one shoe. No, uh, we're going to hold. I'm going to hold this one. Oh. And I, I, I feel like I'm going to get shocked. I'm a little bit scared. Uh, you say you get shocked when you're doing, like, have so many things going on. You catch up with one thing at a time. It's teaching a little. You're going to have to do this. Yeah, that's why you get shocked. So, try not to get shocked. And I was trying to get there. You need to work here, Scott. Say something for a lot. I'm going to go for this, okay? Okay. Uh, let's go. Hello, let's see the Giants are going to win today. Um, this guy's from Kansas. Oh, look, TV, TV, TV. Yeah, we're not TV. Yeah, um, we got City on the Lucky Day. Oh, yeah, it's on TV. Yeah, 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 Too. Hey, what's, uh, what's your favorite chicken nugget sauce? Steve, there's chicken nuggets at a McDonald's. Sriracha. That's what they serve at McDonald's. Fuck, I don't know. Uh, barbecue sauce. What happened with this? Uh, barbecue sauce? Yeah. That's a good choice. Uh, oh, yeah, all right. So, uh, barbecue sauce is a good one. I guess it's a nice shoe. So, um, what happened with this program? I've been in this program for a while, and then we have to have an hour, and that's why I'm doing the tape, and I'm doing the tape for the whole hour. Uh, what's it going? But then it goes on for a So, yeah, I'm going to go forward. I got some calls. We're looking at the phone. So we're ready for uh, the program here. I guess I'm going to phone calls. Um, baseball's talking to the schedule 4.30. So, uh, who do we call? Who should we call? 
Hey, hey, you guys, what is like? You say, say, you can have a dog, so yeah. You know what we call? No, no, the dog wants to fall. So the dog wants to fall. I got a big dog. No, you go to the office. You should call, you should call a, um, yes. No, no, you don't care. Let's call Kansas City. Like, because there is three restaurants. Do you want to go to right now? Yeah, let's go to the hotline days. This has to be a Winstead's. Let's call Winstead's. Winstead's? Let's win. In Kentucky? Kansas. So we're called Kansas. Winstead's. Winstead's. In Kansas City, Missouri? Oh, yeah, they're all. Well, I, I guess I'll just call them. Yeah, I'll just call them. I don't know what they do, and I'm going to ask them. I'm going to ask you guys. We're going to find out. Winstead's. Winstead's. I've never heard of this one. Okay, I don't even know what that is. They're going to have barbecue sauce with one Chicken nuggets is a common question. Yeah, I'll ask them about chicken nuggets. Let's see. Okay, I should be quiet. Let's just... Oh, yeah, well, one of us. Do you want to answer? You can take a car. Hello? Hi, what do you, um, do you sell hamburgers or chicken nuggets and barbecue sauce? Uh, I've never heard of Winstead. I'm just, hello, do you sell, I've never heard of Winstead. Do you sell hamburgers and chicken nuggets and barbecue sauce? We sell hamburgers, we don't sell chicken nuggets. No chicken nuggets? What about curly fries? Huh? You guys have curly fries? No, we don't have curly fries. Okay. Regular fries though? Just fries and hamburgers? Huh? Fries and hamburgers? I'm not sure what Winstead's. What do you what you sell? I'm sorry. I just moved to Kansas. You're not sure what we sell? Yeah, like hamburgers? Uh, What's the most popular item on the menu? Uh, I guess uh, hamburgers. Like, we got hamburgers, milkshakes, and limes, and uh, all that stuff. How many Winsteads are located in, the, uh, in Kansas? Or, I mean, Missouri. How many Winsteads in Kansas? How many, how many Winsteads in Kansas City? Uh, like nine locations. Uh, well, how come Kansas City is called Kansas City when it's like next to Kansas? How come there's two Kansas cities? There's one in Kansas and one in Missouri. Uh, I don't know. What's the most popular milkshake flavor? Huh? What's the most popular milkshake flavor? Well, we have chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, cherry, banana, and butterscotch. Have you ever tried to mix them all up together to make one, one thing? It's like a super flavor? Uh -huh. Has anybody ever tried to get you to mix them all up to make a, like a, just a crazy flavor of all of them at once? Uh, no, I never had that before. What's the giantest man you've ever seen? <laughs> What's the giantest man you've ever seen? Good dance. Like All right, thank you. Yeah. Like, I started, I started saying thank you to them because I don't want them to hang up because it makes me feel bad. So now when I call them and I say thank you, and then they're like, oh, thank you, and like they're happy to answer the questions. <laughs> I think it's a nice interruption from work, you know. Yeah. They're, it's they're, nice. They're doing their, their hamburger flipping. Like for a while, yeah. For a while, I was calling, calling them and I was just talking to them and. I just kept talking and like I, I was like, just didn't want to get them off the phone, but now I, I decided when I've talked and they've they had enough and yeah. I let them go. Eventually, you just have to let them get back to making money. Yeah. But, but it's nice, they're making money and gaining fame post yeah. posthumously, but the fame does come in the future. Yeah. Hyper fame. Yeah, hyper fame. So I don't even know, yeah, I don't even know who this Winstead Z is. Uh, that was pretty good. I imagine he has a large mustache that curls outwards. Yeah. And hat. I guess stripes. I guess we can call the next one because there's a lot of them and so we call a lot of these Winstead places. Oh I wanna call I wanna call it Wade Castle, today? you know? I've never I've never been to a Wade Castle. Are there bird sands today? Oh yeah, the birds are out today. I guess they it must be the season. Do you know there's a, uh, there's a White Castle? I think the original White Castle was in Kansas. Really? I could be very wrong about that. I, I, it could have been in New Jersey. Let's call another one. Step. Let's ask him. I'm going to ask him about getting a franchise in the early uh, year. I think you should call the original White Castle in either Kansas or New Jersey. Um, okay. So we'll just call them and ask them if they are the original White Castle, and if they're not, we can ask them which one is the right one. I could tell you where the original round table pizza is, because I, I looked at it. Oh yeah, where is that? First round table pizza, it's in Menlo Park, California. Oh yeah? Well, did they have anything uh, special about it? Was it very mom and pop, maybe, or something? Um, it served those who like to go to the medieval ages without actually leaving their local neighborhood. Did they? Um, and you could also play pinball. But they, don't, they didn't have any, like, actual night? 
Yeah, they just had like a couple of shields on the wall, right? Yeah, and there was a cardboard name. Uh, and uh, the structure looked somewhat Danish. Uh, which is medium, you know, with the wood and the lines and the white. The yeah, know, yeah, like me oldie. Well, actually, like, uh, I'm, ser- I'm trying to search for it, but the program is pretty much over now, so like, we can just not call them and just call the program a day, I guess. That's good. So I'll sign off. Uh, Scott, you can sign off first. All right. Later, dudes. Yeah, later, dudes. All right. See you later. Listen to the show. Bye-bye. Again. Listen again. Yay.